Okay, so we we're talking today about adjectives, um, dirty declension adjectives, and also comparison of adjectives. But let's first talk about these two adjectives. One we already hinted at we were going to talk about this one, which is megas. Um, the word means big, okay, quite simply. And it functions in the same way. The forms are the same, show the same pattern as the word polus, pole, polu. The word that means much and many. Um, we talked about it. That is the four corners of the paradigm. We kind of messed up the corners because we've got vocative forms, but the ones that Felicia has just put the beautiful yellow asterisks next to are the ones that have third declension endings. Mega, mega for the neuter and megas and megon for the not masculine nominative and accusative singular. All the other forms have a different stem, megal, and then they're inflected like agathos, agathe, agathon. Um, so this is the second example of a, of a type that you will see uh, more examples of as you get into Greek. You've got a, an old adjective that's been renewed with second declension or first declension adjectival forms because the third declension is irregular and older and getting displaced in the his as the language evolves. Okay, um, here's the second uh, adjective, uh, and this. So we're talking about the 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 other third declension adjective, hey juice, which is really, we're not talking about hey juice, the word for sweet, it's actually cognate with the English word sweet, in other words, it once was sweedus, okay, <coughs> become hey juice. Um, it's, it's really a third declension adjective. It hasn't been renewed the way polus and megas have been, so it preserves the old forms. And you remember we've seen recently what happens with you in, as a form, in, in, uh, as, a, as a vowel before declensional endings. Please, he's <laughs> um, and, and that is it becomes W and then it disappears. So remember, if the, if the, if the suffix after the, the, the U or the W begins with a vowel, it becomes a W and then it disappears. So anyway, here's, here are the forms of Hedus, and it represents a really large class of words, right? Hedus, Elrus, and so forth, so forth. So there are a lot of words that have this pattern. So there's the nominative with the S of the third declension nominatives, Hedus. The third declension genitives end in os. So what happens is you get a, 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 a thematized stem in the genitive and the dative that you see throughout this word. So it's instead of being hey, hey, do, os, it becomes hey, de, was and hey de we, and then when the w disappears, you get hey de os, and hey de. Um, the accusative is hey dun, and the ending begins with a consonant, so the u remains a u. Notice that in the genitive, by a bunch of sound changes, it becomes hey de so it's just the first declension uh, feminine uh, endings of the, of the type uh, um, uh, thalata, okay? except you've got an iota, so it's, you've got alphas, long alphas throughout the singular, and then the plural is the same. So there are no surprises in hey dea, hey deas, and so forth. The neuter is like the masculine, okay, it's a third declension form, so there's no ending for the nominative and accusative singular, just hey do, as well as the vocative is hey do, um, but the genitive and the dative are the same as for the masculine forms. All right, so if we look at the plural of this word, hey, deus, we see that all the forms are based on the stem, hey, de, with the W, hey, de, west became hey, des, okay, the W disappeared, hey, de, won became hey, de, on, hey, de, si, okay, the W disappeared altogether, um, and then you have the accusative plural, hey, de, west, it's the same form as the nominative plural. In the feminine plural, there are the predictable feminine endings for a, a, a thalata type adjective. And then in the neuter plural, you have he de wa, gives you he de a, and that's the nominative and accusative plural forms, and the genitive and the dative are the same as for uh, the masculine. So these two forms represent uh, large classes of adjectives. It's not just learning one, there are a lot more that are like it. We'll see, get to know better.